So the case is closed for reals this time. I think we can safely leave the rest to the police. Adachi has confessed his crimes, so I'm sure Namatame's presumed guilt will be re-examined as well. I see. Then that really wraps it up. What do you do now, Teddy? You're not going back over there, are you? You better not, you dumb bear. You don't know how much you worried us last time. I... I won't suddenly disappear like that again. Damn straight you won't. Man, just stay here, alright? Hey, it's me. Good news. It looks like they're letting Nanako come home for a bit. She's awake again, and she's got a good amount of strength back, too. If all goes well, she might be able to leave the hospital for the time being. And as for me, they said I just needed to see a doctor regularly. So I'm planning to come home with Nanako today. Sorry I had to stick you with all the housework. I'll make up for it somehow. Anyway, see you later. Really? Nanako-chan's coming home? I'm so happy for her. Me too. I'm really glad. The fog's all gone over here because everyone tried so hard. And now Nanako-chan's gotten better. Nanako-chan tried hard too. She... She's such an amazing girl. <laughs> Seriously, thank heavens she's okay. <laughs> Where are you touching? Uh. Well, one thing's certain. It's party time! Let's throw a big Christmas party for Nanako-chan! A party, you say? I'm sure Nanako-chan will be delighted! We'll need a cake, then. G guys please say you're not gonna... Huh? We're gonna make one. Of course we're gonna make one. I've already researched the ingredients. Hey, wait, wait a sec, whoa there! That's way too tall an order for you! Let's go to the grocery department. Nato-kun, you too! B but I've never baked a cake. Don't worry, neither have we! This is the fabled Kotatsu. I was really looking forward to the new Kotatsu. Yeah, you talked about it all the time at the hospital. Nanako's going back for a close checkup tomorrow, but at this rate, the doctors say she can leave the hospital soon. If I'd gotten better sooner, we would have been able to buy the Kotatsu together. Sorry. I don't mind, since Big Bro and everyone came to rescue me. Sorry for the wait! Oh no, the Christmas edition of Mystery Food X is about to be served. Bring it on, I'm ready. Got my insurance card and everything. Hey, this is bigger than I imagined. Wait, Nanako-chan! I'll be the first one to... No! It's delicious! It tastes...
tastes really good! That can't be. No. Has she lost all sense of taste? Did you guys really make this? Huh? Uh, of course we did. Does it actually taste like something? It's not hot, is it? How is it, Kanji? Hmm? It, it's amazing! You know what they say about true talent not needing to show off? Turns out we had good taste in cooking after all. <sighs> then again, this one was our third attempt. Hey, Yosuke! Chie-chan and the others really are talented chefs! Three stars for sure! I impossible! This... It truly tastes good! Wait, I didn't already pass out, did I? This isn't a dream, right? Um, Nana-chan, guess what I have? Ta-da! A Christmas present for you! Oh, it looks just like you! I wish I could have made it look better. But I thought it'd keep you company at the hospital, Nana-chan. Oh, and it's made from 100% pure teddy fur. I'm a guy who's all about using all natural materials. Isn't that nice of him, Nanako? Teddy fur. Uh-huh. Thank you, Teddy. I have to thank you all again. Adachi confessed to the two murders. He insists it was him who hung the bodies, too. There are still things that are unclear about his story, but he's most likely gonna pay for his crimes. Anyway, this was one strange case. If what you said about a world inside the TV was true, then everything might make sense. But I still don't believe it. Some things in this world just can't be explained. Like Nanako. She made a miraculous recovery, and now she's as healthy as ever. Back in the day, my own senpai on the forest told me something. There's an underside to everything that you can never see. This case has made me think about a lot of things. You've helped us out so much. <laughs> it was meant to be the other way around, really. There isn't much time left until spring, but I hope I can do some catching up until then. That's right, you're only here until spring, huh? Senpai, you're going back? It won't be the same without you. Sensei? Are you going somewhere? Yeah, that's always been the deal from the beginning. <laughs> but it's way too early to talk about that stuff. Come on, spring's a long ways off, right? Let's have all the fun we can until then. <laughs> hey, don't get too carried away. My sis would kill me if you got yourself held back a year. Oh, but then you wouldn't have to go back, huh? Wow, if that happened, I'd be in the same grade as Senpai.
All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Can I go answer the door? Oh yeah, that's right. Sure, go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. Thank you.
I apologize.
You have come. <laughs> now, close your eyes. Why, you ask? So that you don't witness my sinfulness. Mm. Why did I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief.
very happy. Thank you. I'll see you later. Thank you.
Bye. Goodness, I'm so happy. again. Yo!
Hey. Hmm. 